Hello. Um, I and my buddy Joe English are sending our regards, and today we would like to uh, do some ACT uh, English section questions together. So let's share the PowerPoint. Okay. All right. Uh, our passage uh, today is entitled Hedy Lamar Across the Spectrum. In 1940, Hedy Lamar was becoming a Hollywood star, but she was bored on set for only three months of the year. She filled her spare time with an unusual hobby, inventing. And then keeps uh, talking. And then she uh, had in ideas of her own, including an idea of hers for a torpedo with a sophisticated radio, radio control guidance. So here for uh, 16, what should uh, we say? She had ideas of her uh, own, including an idea of hers. Again, it, it repeats what was said, or should we say including one? for a torpedo, so J. So including one, that is one of her ideas. So J is the best answer. Remember in on the ACT, we appreciate the shorter answer if it makes sense. All right, moving on to 17. At this point, the writer is considering dividing the paragraph into two. Uh, making this change would help organize the essay by separating. Uh, all right, an analysis of Lamar's first invention from details about another uh, one she later developed or information about the origin of Lamar's idea from details about how the invention would work, yes, or an overview of Lamar's film career. No, he's not talking about her film career or details about Lamar's childhood or an analysis of Lamar's invention from details about another one. Uh, C is the best answer, because here he started saying her ideas, uh, she had ideas for inventions. One of these ideas was uh, for a torpedo with sophisticated radio uh, controlled guidance system. Then he talks about the signals and uh, uh, how this signal uh, or this sophisticated signal system would work and so on. So um, if we make the division here, it would be uh, about the origin of Lamar's idea from details. This will be dividing the origin of her idea from details about the invention, how the invention would work. Uh, if we get confused, we use process of elimination. We eliminate the distractors that we are sure are wrong. For example, he's not talking about uh, Lamar's film career as in C, he's not talking about her childhood as in D. So we are left with A and B. If we read a little bit carefully, we will uh, reach the correct answer. What if in on the actual exam, we couldn't do all this, then we uh, uh, reduce the choices to two. If we still uh, didn't uh, have time to read two distractors uh, carefully, then we, we have to make a choice between them, but not one of the ones we are we aren't sure are wrong. And that's for that for the sake of uh, time saving. Or another tactic is to leave that question to the end, like all the questions that ask you about what if we delete this, what if we add this, if we divide the paragraph at this point, what would you, uh, what would the writer uh, achieve? Uh, such kind of questions would require you to read a little bit uh, from the beginning of the paragraph and to have a, a very quick idea about what's going on. And this would take a little bit of time on the exam. So leave these questions to the end. If you have time, you can do that. Use the tactic of eliminating the wrong answers and then make a learned guess if you couldn't uh, read the other distractors carefully. Now moving on to 18, all right, he, she's talking about that radio signal for the torpedo that she invented. She says that radio signals on one frequency is easily to jam or has uh, been easy 
are easily jammed? Th this is the right answer, H, because he's talking about the radio signals and not uh, one frequency. Some students make the mistake of making the verb agree with the nearest thing, like one frequency is easy to jam. But he's not talking about the frequency, he's talking about radio signals of one frequency. So the subject uh, is radio signals, that's plural subject, not one frequency. So the best answer is H. Okay, moving on to 19, if we read from the beginning, uh, he says, one sending a competing signal on the same frequency, period. She envisioned a system that used dozens of frequencies to transmit a signal to guide torpedoes. That makes sense. Uh, no change is a good answer. Frequency she envisioned, then a system. We can't separate between envisioned and then a system. She envisioned a system should be in one sentence. So B is not correct. Frequency, comma, she envisioned. We cannot do that because we cannot separate two ICs with a comma. And of course, all of us know that unless we use one of the fanboys. And D also uh, using a semicolon is uh, not correct. And also because it divides she envisioned and then semicolon. She envisioned what? Okay. She envisioned a system that used. So no change is the best answer. All right, moving on to number 20. Okay, such a signal like that would be hard to detect. Or should we say such a signal similar to that or would be difficult and hard to detect? Or we can simply say such a signal would be hard to detect. detect. That carries the same meaning and it's shorter and to the point. So J is the best answer. If we read one more time, such a signal would be hard to detect. Yes, that is completely uh, correct. It makes sense. Okay, so J is the best answer. Moving on to 21, if we read from the beginning of the sentence, uh, all right, mechanical knowledge, synchronized layer, uh, pianos for his competition and the mechanical knowledge that Lamar needed to instigate her idea or to implement her idea. Implement is the uh, best choice here. Not discharge, not uphold. Yeah, so we say implement her idea. Okay, so B is the best answer. Such questions has to do with collocations, which uh, kind of words, uh, go with which words, and so on. It's like a, uh, an expression. We say to implement my idea, not to discharge my idea, for example, to implement my idea. All right, 22. What, what does he say here? In the decades after the war, comma, however, uh, the U.S. military discovered the value of Lamar's idea. So no change sounds like the correct answer. Have a look at the other ones. Uh, war, semicolon, however, war, comma, however, without comma after, however, and was, however, without comma. Uh, however here is used uh, as uh, show the, uh, it's like a parenthetical. Yeah, and the decades after the war, the US military discovered the value of Lamar's idea. We can take it out completely without affecting the uh, meaning of the sentence, okay? He wants to say, although at the beginning they didn't know uh, the value of, that, uh, of her ideas or they did not implement her ideas, uh, they started to see the value. So we should use, however, in two uh, commas because it's a parenthetical that can be uh, taken out of the sentence without affecting the meaning. So the best answer is F, no change. If we move on to 23, 23, uh, uh, spread, spread, uh, spread spectrum and used it in guidance, radio, and navigation system. 
for the sake of logic and cohesion, sentence three, okay, uh, should be placed uh, where it is now, sentence three. Yeah, then in 1942, the inventors heard that the Navy had rejected their idea. That's sentence three, okay. Uh, so for the sake of logic, should we keep it where it is now or before sentence one or after sentence four uh, or after sentence five? Okay, let's read sentence four and five. They submitted the secret communication system to the military in June uh, 41. Yeah, we can say that they uh, sent their system or communication system. And then uh, that was in 1941. And in 1942, they, uh, the inventors heard the Navy had rejected the idea. So that makes sense. They first uh, submitted their proposal of communication system in 41, and that system was rejected in 42. So after sentence four makes sense. So C is the best uh, answer. Let's move to 24. In 19... <clears throat> 78, Spread, spec, spread spectrum was declassified and it made a difference. Devices that operate wirelessly, cellular phones, wireless internet, blah, 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 etc. Okay, which choice most strongly and specifically emphasizes that declassification of spread uh, spectrum was a turning point in the history of communication technology? Is it a no change? It made difference or transformed the communication landscape. Yeah, that much better expresses the idea of making like a breakthrough or uh, uh, it was like a turning point in the history of communication. If you say transformed, that is G, transformed the communication landscape. So G is the best answer. Moving on to 25, uh, devices that operate wire, wire, wirelessly, common cellular phones, wireless internet, should we say that or should we say uh, uh, a dash or a colon, all right, uh, or a comma? Uh, yes, I think we should use a dash here just to show uh, examples of uh, wireless uh, devices, such as, for example, cellular phones, wireless uh, internet workers, the global positioning system, or what we know as GPS, uh, because we have also a dash after that. Okay? Yes. Because we start with a dash and we end with a dash, the examples of the wireless devices. So B is the best answer. If we didn't have a dash here and there, then we could use a colon because it would give us a list or an explanation or clarification of those wireless devices. Okay, 26. Um, yeah, so it says the wireless operate devices that operate wirelessly, such as, for example, cellular, uh, GPS, and so on, functioning because of Lamar's idea or function. We should say function because such and such and, and such function because of Lamar's ideas. Or uh, devices, that is all devices that operate wirelessly, such as blah, 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 function because of Lamar's idea. So function, H is the best choice. How about 27? All right, uh, Lamar's idea. It wasn't until 1996. Yeah, so it's. Um, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's used for reference, general reference, okay? Um, so it is the, the correct answer here, no change, A. It wasn't until 1996 that Lamar and uh, blah, blah, blah were finally given credit, okay? Yes. How about 28? 
28 years. Uh, Lamar and uh, Anthiel, they were finally given credit, should we say that? Or finally received credit? Yeah, so we should say J, Lamar and Anthiel finally received credit for spread spectrum. So that is uh, the best choice. Finally received. J. How about uh, 29? Okay. Uh, however, they were awarded the Pioneer Award. So there is no need for however here. Uh, in the preceding sentence, they say Lamar and Anfield were finally, uh, finally, sorry, finally received credit for spread spectrum. They were awarded the Pioneer Award. So however, doesn't make any sense here. We should say uh, they uh, uh, were awarded the Pioneer Award. So that is D, choice D for 20. Nine. Okay. The last question here. Okay. Uh, question 30 asks about the entire passage. Uh, suppose the writer's primary purpose had been to give an overview of the history of an important invention. Would this essay accomplish that purpose? Yes, because it recounts the story of Lamar and Anfield's invention of spread spectrum and the invention's significance? That could be the answer. Let's have a look at the other ones because it shows how Lamar and Anfield changed the course of World War II. No, uh, that's wrong answer. H, no, because although it describes Lamar and Anfield's invention, it doesn't establish the importance. No, but it says, yes, it was important. Not only that, but it says, it was a turning point in the history of communication. The last one, J, you know, because it instead focuses on Lamar and Thiel and their collaboration. No. So the best answer here is F. Uh, it talks about both Lamar and, and Thiel's invention and also its significance. Thank you for following, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.